Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and it's Christmas Day today. I want to wish everyone a very merry happy Christmas whatever you're doing. And remember don't get triggered or go into pain if your twin is with someone else today because a lot of this is obligation and duty because they may have kids or other things going on, family situations. So I'm going to bring in again the same decks I used yesterday. We used the Divine Masculine Christmas Promises and Secrets Oracle. And the Masculine really came through saying, I want to text you, Divine Feminine. There's something I want to say. I'm regretting everything. They were going through these moments of epiphanies where they're remembering how much you mean to them and that you're the real blessing, the true love of their life. I also want to bring in the Karmic Christmas Oracle to see what's happening behind those closed doors today, you know, within karmic situations. And not everyone's going to be dealing with a karmic situation, but, you know, you certainly want to know what energy the masculines are in during this day. And yesterday, you know, this was the energy where the karmic partner may be saying, can we start again in 2024? You know, can we try again? And the masculine is saying, absolutely not. You know, it's over now it's over. So we're going to connect again and see what's happening. And we're also going to bring in the happiness coach cards. And, you know, the masculines are also in this real sense of dread yesterday about spending time with the karmic partner's family, you know, because they don't get on very well or, you know, he doesn't really like being around these people. So I do feel there's a lot of pain today. You know, the masculines could also be drinking alcohol to dull what's going on around them. So, you know, just know whatever's happening, they are thinking of you. So let's connect again with these cards and see what the energy is on Christmas Day. So what's the energy today on Christmas Day? What are they feeling and experiencing on Christmas Day? And what do they want to say to you today? What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say? So a few cards coming out here. And I've got a couple of cards sticking out of the deck as well. You know, and these cards could again be similar to what came out yesterday or even the same cards coming out because they want you to know what they're feeling and what they want you to know about their experiences. So what's happening within karmic situations today? What's going on? And you know, it is a bit stressful Christmas Day as well as it's supposed to be a happy day and a day of family. This card's moving as well. There's always some chaos around Christmas Day. You know, there can be arguments and other things going on. So the energy they're in today is control. So there's someone trying to control them today. You were trying to control something that needs to be released. Now, the first thing I've got coming up is your masculine is reminding you that you don't need to control anything. You know, you don't need to be the one reaching out to them because they are going to reach out to you. They are going to connect and come to you. But I feel the masculines are feeling very controlled today. And this could be because they're in a controlled environment. You know, they could be, as I said, spending time with their family. And really, if you think about Christmas Day, a lot of the time it is about control, the way things are happening. Like we get up, we open presents, then, you know, we have a Christmas dinner, then we may watch something on TV and then have another meal and then all these things happen. So there's kind of like a schedule to the day as well. And the masculines realize that they need to, you know, they need to move forward with you and make changes, but they need to be, re be releasing all of this control. You know, they don't want to be controlled. They don't want to feel that they are being pushed or forced into doing things today. And we've also got the door. A new beginning is upon you and it's better than ever. So the masculines really today... He's saying to you, Divine Feminine, you don't need to control things because I'm already moving towards you. A new beginning is already upon us and it's going to be better than ever. The door is about to open and I'm really seeing this door as New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. The door opening to the brand new year of 2024. And that's what's on the horizon. That's what's on the horizon. Look at the bigger picture. So whatever's going on today... Try and look at the bigger picture. Don't get triggered by the fact that you may not be together or that they may be silent or a bit distant or maybe they haven't reached out yet to wish you a happy Christmas or don't get triggered by things because when we do, we keep ourselves stuck in a box. When we think outside of the box, we're able to look at the bigger picture and the bigger picture is there's a door opening to a new beginning 
and you're both very aware of this and it's going to be better than ever. So the masculine is saying to you, I'm about to open this door to our destiny. This door is about to open. So you don't need to control something that needs to be released. So the masculine is saying, I need to release things in my life right now that I feel are controlling me and I'm feeling this more than ever today. And you don't need to try and control our connection because the universe is already sorting it out. So release control today, relax and breathe. So whatever's going on with their life today, they're feeling trapped and they need to get out. And that's why he's being shown this door. So definitely a new beginning on the horizon. And I'm feeling this is 2024. And I feel the masculine saying 2024 is going to be so different for us both. This time next year, it's going to be so different for us both because we're finally going to be together. Now look at this again. I'm about to text you. So this card's come out again. This card came out yesterday. So the masculine is saying, I am about to text you. Maybe you watched that reading last night and you didn't receive a text or an email or, you know, a conversation. And you're a bit triggered today thinking, well, why? Why didn't you text me? Why? And he's saying, I'm about to. I'm about to text you. So again, I feel this energy is how he's feeling what he's preparing to do. And he's saying, I'm about to text you because the things I want to say. And I feel this is the energy between now and the new year. So don't panic or stress out if you don't get a message today or tomorrow or the next day, because he's going to, I'm about to. He's saying, I'm not happy. Okay. I'm not happy. It's not happy here or in my head. So when he said today, he's not happy either, because even when he's thinking about you and dreaming about you and you know, moving into an energy of you, he's feeling frustrated because of where he is. And he's also saying to you, you're turning me on. So when he thinks of you, he's getting turned on by you. You know, he's thinking about being with you. He's thinking about wanting to spend that time with you. And when the masculines are feeling this way, they get stressed out, they get frustrated, they get angry because it's all this tension and all this desire and chemistry within them that's building up. So he's saying to you, it's not happy here. And you might be thinking, oh, he seems to be happy. Maybe he shared something on social media or maybe you've seen something that the karmic partner shared on social media and he's saying, look, it's not happy here. It's not happy here or in my head right now. I'm dealing with stress. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I'm worried about things. And I'm also feeling all this desire for you that I'm frustrated about because I can't act on it. So forgive me, please. I am regretting everything. And this is the same card that came up yesterday. So he's saying, please forgive me for the things I've done, the way things have happened. I am regretting everything now. And all I really want to do is lock the door and hide away. And there's that doorway. He's saying, all I really want to do is say to you, let's lock the door and hide away. Let's spend Christmas together. Let's be away from everyone and everything and just snuggle up and be with each other. That's what he dreams about. That's what he desires. You know, lock the door and hide away. Also being intimate, you know, being in bed all day, loving each other, being intimate, spending time together. He's saying, that's what I really want to do. I want to shut out the world and be with you. But the angels are reminding you that this new beginning is ahead. So don't panic or stress out if he hasn't messaged you yet because he truly intends to. Now, he could be at a New Year's Eve party today. So I suppose, you know, that this is well, not today, but, you know, this is what he's planning on. Or he's saying he's letting you know today, you know, he's saying right today, something's come up where I may be going to a New Year's Eve party. So I feel he's giving you the heads up now to not panic or worry or get triggered if he's doing that too. And he could be at a party today. You know, he could be around people today and he's saying it feels like today things are already moving forward because he's planning in his mind what to do. I'm getting a few things when this card. I'm feeling he's saying to you, let's have our own New Year's Eve party. Because if you're worried about Christmas time and, you know, the fact that he's with his family today or with his kids or with his karmic partner, he could well be planning on spending a New Year's Eve with you. And it may feel like a party because you're locking the door, you're behind closed doors yourselves, you know, you're blocking the world out. He may plan on giving you a gift on this day. So really your New Year's Eve could be your Christmas day for some of you out there. But I feel he's also maybe being invited to a party today or... You know, maybe the karmic partner's already arranged something that they're letting him know about today. So he's making you aware that he may be going to a New Year's Eve party. And that's frustrating. He's saying it's frustrating because I'm keeping up appearances. So I feel what he's saying to you is, 
you know, I'm going to a New Year's Eve party to keep up appearances. It's nothing more. Okay, I'm doing these things because it's to keep up appearances in society. And he's fed up of this. You know, he's fed up, he's frustrated, and he's saying it's so frustrating that I haven't achieved everything I wanted to this year because a lot of the masculines have got goals and dreams and they really, you know, work on those goals and dreams in your presence and they get very angry and frustrated at themselves because they've not left their karmic partner yet or they haven't received that monetary achievement yet or whatever it is they've been doing. So, you know, he's thinking about all of this today too. But he's really frustrated because he wants you divine feminine. He wants to lock away, you know, lock you behind closed doors today and kind of spend that time with you. He wants to be locked away with you. And he said, I'm so frustrated about my life and the fact that I'm here or I'm here again this year when I promised you last year I was going to leave by now. And he's also saying, you know, I'm too drunk to care what's going on. So there's also, you know, a lot of the masculines will be getting drunk today. You know, and a lot of them are becoming more spiritual and more spiritually aware anyway, where they know they don't want to drink alcohol. They don't want to do these things that make them feel sick or hung over the next day or cloud their judgment or mind. But he's saying, I'm too drunk to care. Another plate smash. So again, this could be about arguments. It could be about smashing plates. It could be about stress. He's saying, another plate smashed. I'm too drunk to care. It's so frustrating and he may be drinking because he's frustrated as well and he said, I'm too drunk to care. A New Year's New Year party, I'm too drunk to care. He's not saying he doesn't care about you. He's saying, I'm just too drunk to care about it in this moment, what I need to do because another plate's being smashed. It's just too stressful here. And he said, I have a limited, this is a karmic energy, I have a limited time off work for the holidays and I feel like I'm wasting it here. So again, you know, he wants to spend time with you. He wants to be with you. And if they've got a busy job, you know, if he's got a busy lifestyle, if he's only got a certain amount of time off work, which could be a week or two weeks, it could be a day or, you know, a couple of days. He's saying, I have a limited time off work and I want to enjoy it. And I just feel like I'm wasting it here, keeping up appearances, going to parties I don't want to go to, spending time with people I don't want to be around. All I really want to do is, lock myself away with you behind closed doors and enjoy each other. And again, he's saying, what a failure I've become. A failure at Christmas, what a failure. So he's really regretting everything, you know, going over all of this in his mind, thinking, I should have changed by now, I should have done this by now, I should have achieved this by now, I should be with you by now, I'm a failure. So again, he's feeling a failure. And, you know, the masculines will feel this way, even more when they're intoxicated, you know, when they're drinking alcohol, because it just makes them feel more and more like this. And then they can get in arguments with their karmic partner, you know, so maybe they just kind of start drinking throughout the day. And then by the time they get home, they're pretty drunk and then the arguments begin. So he's saying to you, it's not how it seems. So if you think it's all hunky dory and everything's wonderful behind closed doors and he's having a great Christmas, he's saying it's miserable here. I'm not happy here or in my own head. It's not how it seems to you. Try and see past the illusion, I'm sorry. And some of the masculines are even saying, can I come over? So again, they could send you a text that says, can I come over? Can I come and see you? Can we meet up in the new year? Can we have a new year's party together? Can we lock the door and throw away the key? So this is really an energy where he's saying he wants to be with you. In his mind, he wants to come over. He may even be asking you in the 5D realm if he can come over to you in a dream or he can astral travel to you today or he can spend, you know, the night with you in some way because he wants to. He's feeling frustrated and he's also feeling horny. He wants you. So again, this could also be a flirty energy. Maybe you want to make love or you just want to have some intimacy today or you're making plans to hook up or there's something big changing it because the masculine is saying, I've had enough of this situation. I mean, I feel like I'm being controlled and I've had enough of that and I know I need to release it because I want to open the door to a new beginning. And I'm definitely seeing this new door as the new year, but I'm also seeing it as the fact as what he's saying to you is, you know, can we just lock the door and hide away, you know, and, and be together? That's what he's dreaming of today. And that's why some of the masculines are going to text you and say, can I come over or can we meet up or, you know, can I call you or can we talk about things? I've got things to say. But remember, Divine Feminine is also in this energy where he feels very lost. He feels 
like a failure. He feels like he's regretting everything. So don't let that energy drag you down. And remember, if he's too much in that energy and he's not reaching out to you, it's a very good thing because you're being protected by heaven at Christmas time, which needs to be or should be happy and joyful, you know, in a time we enjoy and find the blessings in and we celebrate. The angels are protecting you from that negative energy. And obviously, you know, if he's arguing with his karmic partner, if the smashing plates and the things going on, and that could very well be why they're having an argument and the karmic's like, can we try and work it out? And the masculine's saying, no, definitely not. Then you're being saved from that drama. So just be at peace today. Look for the blessings in your own life. Remember that door is going to open. And one day soon, you're going to close the door behind you both, throw away the key, you know, and have that, that kind of snuggle day or a snow day or, you know, those days and times where you just spend time together and that's what's ahead. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Have a very happy Christmas and I'll see you soon.